On today's episode of Cook's Convicts, we go deep undercover to see if we can actually smoke a legal cigarette in a heroin injecting centre in the heart of Richmond. We also talk to infamous Andy Nolch, the man who drew a 20 metre long dong at Eurydice Dixon's memorial. We have a special guest and we also find out, is Sarah Hanson Young really shaggable? All coming up next on Cook's Convicts. Hey you go, Patriots. Welcome to Future Now's new TV show, starring me, the one and only Neil Erickson, the man who was convicted, the first one in Australia, convicted of religious vilification. Religious vilification! Me and Blair, and that other guy. But today, we have a guest, a special guest here today. Um, look, we're gonna try and interview Patriots, Right wingers and even retards. So today we invited Ricky T to IC from Cooks Convicts on the show, and Ricky is here. Welcome, Rick. Welcome, mate. G'day, everyone. It's Ricky T to IC Cooks Convicts. He, he left the bubble out, but we'll we'll go past that. Can you say that in English? I'm retarded. I've, yeah. You've explained that to the viewers. Okay. okay. Anyway, first thing on the uh, show. Yep. I reckon we should start with the uh, most controversial and contentious. Actually, we'll get back to that in a second. Let's talk about the dick. The big dick. Yep. You know the dick? No, I don't. Well, it's been in the news yesterday. The big dick. Um, this big dick. That is extremely big. It's big. It is. It's solid. I wouldn't say it's extra large, but the media's been talking about a dick for the past day. A dick. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Andy Colf painted this at um, Eurydice's Dixon's Memorial. Oh, yep. I had the pleasure of talking to um, uh, Andy Dolk? Colk? Colk? Nolsh. Colsh? Nolsh. 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 Yeah. That's a Richie over there. Yeah. Yeah. Andy Nolsh was the man who drew the dick on the grass in the park. I've just got a couple of questions. Hey? I drew the dick. You drew the dick? I drew the massive dick. The massive dick? It was a 30 metre dick. Was it 30 metres? Yeah. I think it was probably, it was definitely, I'd say, 20 metres. 20 metres? 25. So did you plan on drawing such a big dick? Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon you could have done it bigger? Um, it wouldn't have needed to be bigger, but, I mean, I could have, but... I use up all the paint and uh, yeah. Are, are you amazed that the media have been talking about a big dick for like two days? Yeah, they've been real into it. They've been right into the dick, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The media love the dick. They're they're dicks basically themselves. Yeah, they're dodgy ass man. Look, I think they lost the message though. You know, the message was the dick, and you know when you divert away from the dick you lose the message. Yeah, exactly, that's why, yeah. If they just stuck to the dick topic, then um, they would have done a good story. Are there gonna be any more dicks? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. maybe. I think, I, think, I think dick and feminism, I think anywhere where it's a feminist location has a potential of being dicked. Yeah, the feminists need the dick. I think that's what the big problem is. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're resisting it and trying to fight it, but the truth is that they want it. They do. They want the dick. They want the big, yeah. white dick. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Point it straight at them, and uh, that'll solve their problem. Um, hey, Rich. Hey. So, he painted a dick on a memorial, Rick. Um, what do you think about that? Do you think that's kind of going too far? When I first heard about the dick, the dick incident. The dick incident, sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I basically laughed because it was just random. It was really random, but I didn't know what to say, think about it, but I thought yeah. it was random. It was totally disgusting and abhorrent, me personally. Oh, I didn't laugh at all. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but apparently I spoke to him on the phone and he, and he said to me he'd done it as a message. Now, 
look, I'm a pretty... Um, what was the message, Neil? I'm about to tell you if you just fucking wait. Okay. Second. Look, I understand messages. I understand arts. You know, you want to make it make an example. But when I spoke to him on the phone, he sounded like a pleasant guy. But his idea of um, a message didn't make fucking sense. I don't know. He said he painted the big dick at the rape scene where oh. Eurydice was raped by an autistic man. He said he painted this at the scene and the reason I have an emotional attachment to this dick is because we were first accused of the drawing of the dick. Correct. I received death threats. They thought me and Rick done it. Now, I'm not going to drive two and a half hours to go and paint a dick on some comedian's rape and murder scene in a park. That's not going to happen. Do you agree? 100% Dogs Act. Dogs Act. But for some reason, the left blamed us. So when he was caught, I was very um, happy because we have vindicated. We never done the dick. That was Andy. Andy done the dick. And the reason Andy done the dick, he said, was to send a message to the feminists out there. And he does have an argument whether his his, uh, idea of drawing a big, massive dick at the murder scene was correct or not. His message was to send a message out to the whorish media out there that used that poor girl's murder to push forward an anti-male agenda. It doesn't make sense, but... The message obviously got out there. It did. The dick got out there immensely. What do you reckon, Rick? Oh. Do you reckon that dick got into every single orifice of um, the news media? It was hard not to hear it at work, when you got home, people talking. Dick, dick, ba- dick. Dick, dick, basically. It was just all about a dick, but don't worry about what's behind the dick. It's the dick. It's the actual story of the dick. Correct. The dick's become a, a meme in itself. Correct. Do you agree? I correct. I, I correct you and I agree. Yeah. Look, we don't agree. agree with drawing dicks on murder and rape scenes in parks. But sometimes when someone does it, it sends a message to the public that dicks ain't right. Dicks ain't right on anything unless it's a chick. Is that right? Basically. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Catch up. He just left on a bus with the refugees. They're all rapists. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. They're unbound. Bring them here. Uh, welcome back, patriots. Welcome back. We've got Ricky here. Ricky T, 2IC of Cook's Convicts. That's the way. There hey, we go. Patriots actually use that as a chant. The flag <laughs> Funnily enough, the I, had the, flag I had the... Um... Oh, fuck. You lost me train of thought. I'm retarded. I apologise, everyone. I told you out. not to smoke crack before the show. It was heroin, and it was, heroin? It was the first time I thought... Everyone does drugs when they start. I thought I'd just go straight to the point and get on heroin. All right, we've got some images here. They might be distressful to normal people, um, considering you are relatively normal, I'd say, Rick. (laughs) Uh, We'll show you these images, and look, the regular disclaimers uh, are obvious. All right, here we go. Um, No, not that one. That one. Now, you look at that. What's that, Rick? Do you remember what that was? I remember. Sadly, I remember. Sadly. But let me just get another look at Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have looked twice. Is that a... Um, what, what would some people call that in France? They would call that a le freak. <laughs> this is a le freak. And this thing was in Fed Square and old mate Blair Cottrell confronted him. What did you think of that? Did you see the... F- we'll show you the video. We'll show you the video now and you can judge for yourself. Hey, how's it going, fellas? What's happening here? Do you want to have a fight or something? Hey, wait, wait, come on, we're up. There's kids here. There's What's kids the problem, here. Dave? There's kids watching you. Where's the police? Where's the police, Where's the police now? Piss off, mate. You're not welcome here. There's kids here. What are you doing? Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? You're not welcome here. Take it off. 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 Uh, Ricky, we're in court today. Yep. Uh, why were we in court? What got us to court? That's why we're wearing suits, because we're in court. I'm wearing it because I look good. Well, I'm wearing it because I had to go to court because I was charged with a fray, behaving in a rightest manner, um, assault with weapon, two of them, 
and unlawful assaults, two of them. Ricky was charged for being um, assault, uh, afraid, and being a sick cunt. <laughs> but we're at court today because um, the left attacked us back in Milo in Australia, I think. Australia, Melbourne, Kensington. Last year, December 4, we were attacked. What happened, Rick? Well, basically, me and Neil and four others were walking. Basically, me and Neil and others were Anyway, walking what, what happened was we're walking down Racecourse Road. <laughs> <laughs> Racecourse Road. And we were set upon by a bunch of anarchist Antifa. And they attacked us because they recognized us. So we, we got to the corner and basically they started to attack, it, attack us, belt us. Um, Rick copped the hiding, big one. <laughs> um, your pants fell off, did that? No, I lost my phone. He lost his phone, he did, he did. It's an expensive one too. And the police came to our homes and raided us? Correct. They went through your underwear drawer and found your phone, your other phone? No, no, they didn't find that one. Right. So they raided us and they've dragged us to the Melbourne Magistrates Court, which is in Australia. Melbourne, Australia? Correct. Yeah. So they went to our homes, dragged us to court, and now that's why we're in court today. And what did we say today? We said, get Nick, yeah? Yeah, pretty much yeah. jog on. Jog on. Jog on, fool. So now we're going to go to a tr trial coming up, I think. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. So th that's basically what's going on with that. Richmond West Primary School. What do you reckon, Neil? How do you feel about... How do you feel about going up and maybe shooting some heroin? Just look like, it's, it's only just there. If I was like 10 years old or five years old, I wouldn't mind getting a bit of heroin and watching druggies walk around. Well, where do you get heroin? What do you smoke heroin? Well, inject it. inject it, exactly. So where are we gonna go to, get, to do this? Because I don't want to do it in the open. Uh, it's a green building just over here. Uh-huh, what's well, up? Go. Hey, actually, you know what we're gonna do? Yeah. I'll go in first to get my heroin fix. Yeah. And you just follow me in, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, sweet. I've never done it, so let's let's do it. You know, right? it's all for the kids. I was trying to drugs. I'm trying to see how many hit is. Would you shag Sarah Hansen Young if you can get away with it? If no one knew, would you bang her? That's an awkward question. The type of bloke I am, man, it depends on who he sits, but he ain't sitting up for her. Um, yeah, but just say so it's 3 a.m., yeah? You're at the yep. pub and there's um, no other bitch around or yep. chicks. Um, and you saw Sarah Hansen Young walk in and she was just, she was up for it. What would you do to her? Would you bang her? I would want to get to know her because at the type of bloke I am, I shout him a beer, get to know them, take them on a date, and then maybe we'll get to maybe that stage. But let's just wrap that up right there and then. I'd probably glass it because it needs to be put down. It's got <laughs> no <laughs> idea. It's yeah. future. Yeah. I'd probably do it, man. I'd do it. <laughs> But I'll treat it mean. Like that it keeps them keen, mate. Keeps them keen. Don't want that. I'm yes. not retarded, I just do stupid things. All right, now we've got these mugs for sale. This is how we're going to make money on this show. We want you to support everyone. Unbreakable, Rick. See this? Watch. Um, un un unbreakable. All right, so buy them online, unbreakable mugs. Best ever, you will not be sorry when you buy one of these bad boys. Brilliant.